back guys to another video. This is Michael here with Elite Football Training. I got you guys another training video of us doing a little bit of training earlier this week. Uh, go ahead and get into the video. So we start off with just a little warm up, a dynamic warm up, a little bit of a static warm up. Uh, for those of you who want to watch this, uh, kind of get an idea of kind of what we do to get everything warmed up and everything loosened up before we get going. That way we don't hurt ourselves and kind of prepare body physically to get ready to go to work if you guys don't want to watch this go ahead and forward a couple seconds and we'll get into the session All right, so let's get right into it. So everything that we did at the beginning here was 30 seconds on and 30, 30 seconds of rest. So start off nice and simple with just both feet juggling, both right and left foot juggling. So just trying to stay in the little, uh, the little two by two squares that we made here. Just try to keep yourself inside the Keep yourself inside the square. If you mess up, it's all right. Get yourself back inside as quick as you can and just keep going. So we did it. Then we went into now right foot only. So just working on a little bit of your balance on your weaker leg. Along with just working on just the contact you're having with the ball. Just getting a lot more familiar with the ball. Everything that we're going to do inside these little tight tight cones is just to get yourself familiar with the ball, get touches on the ball, get used to using different surfaces to touch the ball. So we go for 30 seconds. I don't know where my brother's gone. Decided he just wanted to end training like that. I'm sure he's probably he's off camera, but he kept going. He just didn't want to lose time by trying to come back so same thing after you take a little rest I cut all the rest out that way it just doesn't kill up useless time you guys don't just see us walking around and uh, trying to catch our breath and then going again so just same thing just trying to balance just don't let the ball hit the ground Then we moved on. After that, that was two with the right, so now we're going to go two with the left. So now, same thing, left foot now. So you can already see, I can already see it myself in the video, my right leg is wobbling, which just lets me know that it's more of the balance aspect. Because I'm having pretty good connection with the ball, but it's just the balance aspect that's that keeps on getting me off off rhythm. But that's why, that's why we're working on it. So just trying to focus, get all as many touches with your left foot within those 30 seconds as you can. Just 
rest again and then last last out with the left foot. Try to get as many touches as you can, many touches as you can. Just within the first, just within the first 10 minutes of us training, we would have already got more touches. Me, I can speak for myself personally. You'll get more touches in 10 minutes of training than you might get in like two hours with like maybe a six on six game depending maybe what position you play in like, like how the game is set up and a whole bunch of stuff like that so when we come out and we train like this it kind of helps maximize our time so if we're out there for two hours we're gonna get two hours worth of touches versus maybe in two hours if i'm out playing i possibly could get maybe 50 touches maybe 100 touches to close to a thousand touches that we could get during this whole entire session here so the improvement is is massive when it comes to this so then our next one 30 seconds here you're just gonna go bell tap so just as quick fast as you can get low stay on your toes get the ball back and forth inside your foot really try to challenge yourself so, all right if you mess up just pick the ball up keep going just trying to get yourself familiar with just touching the ball Keep touching, 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 touching as quickly as you can. 30 seconds of rest. So we did that for two. So everything we're going to do for two, most of them. So here we're going to go outside, inside, outside, inside. All the way across. You guys have seen us do this the cones, but now we're doing it more in a box. So just staying low, touching the ball. Keeping your ankles locked. Just trying to get as many touches as you can. Really just trying to work on my weak foot, my left foot. Just trying to get it used, get used to moving with my left foot, right foot. Thirty seconds of rest in between all of these. Shake it out, stretch what you need, and get right back to it. We have a phone here. Sometimes we use a watch. It doesn't matter. Just put it however you can get your thirty seconds. You can either go for time or reps. We always just mix it up. So in this, that day we went 30 seconds. Some days we can go like 50 touches is one rep and then we rest. So either you can go for time or you can go for touches, whichever one, whichever one you want to try out first. All right, so then with this, you're going to tap with your inside, pull it back tap it across with your inside and then use your other foot and do the same exact thing and while you're doing this you're kind of in rhythm you're hopping a little bit just getting yourself familiar soul roll there so second set as you said Mostly all these things we do two of. If we're really feeling good on the day, we'll do three. But we lifted we lifted on Sunday, so glutes were sore and some things were sore, so we just said let's just do two for today. If you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave as much feedback as you can. It really does help us. If you guys anything you guys need help with. Let us know you want me to talk about some things. Shoot it down in the comments section. So now we go V touches here. So you're going to stop with your inside. You're going to push it, pull it back. Just going to keep going like that. And V, set the cones down a little V for ourselves. And then just get to work. As I always say, when you first start off doing stuff like this, especially if you've never done it, get the rhythm down first and then worry about the speed the reason I say that is that so you can get the you can you can your body and your muscles can learn the technique first and then once you learn the technique you can add the speed to it so 
So with this, I don't know, you guys can see it in the video, but when I push it with my left, it's harder for me to trust it than with my right because I know my right foot is fast enough to where I can catch the ball, but really trying to challenge myself with my left foot there. So those are kind of some of the things I'm thinking about while I'm while I'm going through some of these things. So here we just go side to side rolls as fast as you can. So we started off here with just your left foot. So just getting just getting left side and your right side just more more used to just manipulating the ball. Touching the ball with different surfaces of your feet. We've used the inside of our foot, we've used the outside, we've used the sole, going in different directions, going in a square, going in a V, just all simulate kind of all the different directions you might find yourself. You may find yourself doing in a game or match or team training situation. We try to emulate out here. So really just trying to challenge yourself, go as fast as you can. There, I mess up, but it's okay. Just keep going. It's all part of it. So same thing. Now you just go left foot. Now you're really starting to get tired, so now you kind of have to pick up. You got to concentrate a little bit more. Same thing, side to side, as quick as you can. Thirty seconds, just really challenge yourself. Alright, so for this next one, what you're doing is you're gonna roll it up and then roll it across and then catch it with your opposite foot and you're gonna bit your pull it down and pull it across. So this one we're going this is going counter I believe that's counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise on these ones. And then the next one will go the other way. So you'll this one we're leading with your right foot. And then the next one we're gonna lead with our left foot. But we're gonna do two on each one. So this is number two on the right side. Just trying to keep the ball as tight to the cones as you can. Once you get the technique, as I said, you just pick the pace up and then just work on the speed. So you get the technique and the pace so like I said that was two with the right side so now we're doing the opposite so you're leading now with your left foot Alright, so here's the last one with this one. Also, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see what we do for fitness. It's not fun. It's not any like anything interesting on camera wise, but if you guys want to see what we do fitness wise, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want to see stuff like that. So last one here, we just do Brazilian Brazilian drag backs. At this point, our legs are are almost fried. If we would have done these 
at the beginning i'm pretty sure the, the quality of them would have been a lot better but it's good to work and see kind of push yourself when you're tired It's amazing once you're tired you have to your concentration has to be immaculate because maybe you're you're a little bit fatigued your legs a little bit tired but mentally you still got to be there all right so the last thing that we did we did this little passing pattern here from I got this one from Become Elite. I saw him do it and I thought it would be pretty good to implement it in today. So you're just gonna each little like each little channel you're just gonna make a pass. And then you're gonna back pedal back to the top. You have two touches. So you always have two touches at the top of it and then one touch everywhere else. So we did three rotations of this, so, or three rounds I guess you could say. Rotations, rounds, whatever you want to say, just go through it three times, and that's one. So my brother goes here, so same thing. Really just trying to focus on just the pass back, just trying to keep it on the ground for whoever is playing you the pass. And then whenever you get the ball at the top there, just making sure that you have a good first touch, and playing the ball out with some pace. Bad pass on my part, but great way to handle it. I go again. Just here, just trying to stay up, stay on your toes, be reactive, be ready to move. One little key that I realized from a coach is that he said make a focus on making the pass first before you start moving. If you start moving before you hit the pass, your pass might not it may not be accurate, it may pop up like that pass right there just popped up on you and you may be giving your teammate a bad ball, so kind of focus it on hit the pass first and then move. Just like in football, they tell receivers to catch the ball first and then run. So, same thing with us. Hit the pass first and then move. Don't try to do two things at the same time. And then the other thing is that if you don't have like a good rep, just start over. There's nothing wrong with that. Just start over. That way you can have quality. You can have just like a quality session. And hold yourself to a high standard. So, if we don't like like a certain rep, we'll just redo it. Even if it's last one just redo the whole thing that way we're just working on the quality and just making sure our quality gets a lot better but that's the video guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section what you guys want to see more of or you guys want me to talk about maybe some tips for your, some of you guys who are still playing in college right now or playing maybe a little bit higher level or stuff like that uh, give me all the feedback everything you guys anything you guys want to say just say it uh, hope to see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one I'll see you guys in the next one thank you